Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, as you know, uh, Windows Vista support ended yesterday. Um, I thought I would do a little just fact video of Windows Vista and uh, the reason of Windows Vista and many little things that people sometimes don't know. So first of all, Windows Vista uh, was, was the replacement of Windows XP. It was supposed to be a very, very modern operating system. So what happened is when Windows XP was released, they started working on a project called Longhorn. And basically, that would eventually bring Windows Vista, but it was not supposed to be like that. What happened is that they started working on the project, and there were really a lot of innovations in the technology they wanted to do in the Windows. It was taking a new direction. They wanted to have a different file system. They wanted to have an operating system that would be much more advanced and very different from what they ever done in the past. But about two years and a half into making that Windows, they started panicking a little bit. First of all, there was the um, stock market. You know, um, People were kind of pressuring Microsoft and saying, hey, it's been two years and a half and you still have no idea of a version of Windows that's going to come out, um, you know, and until then, the Windows um, operating system pretty much had a two-year run. Every two years, there was a new version. So they really panicked. <laughs> it's the only word that we can use for this, and they scrapped the whole project and started from scratch a new operating system that had a very, very uh, quick deadline because of what happened. And so, created Windows Vista. Probably one, if not the most hated operating system ever. One of the biggest problems of Windows Vista when it came out was how it was a resource hog. Really, really taking a lot more resources than Windows XP that was pretty slim as an operating system. So it was one and a half times bigger. It needed, you know, even though they didn't really raise that much the minimum requirements, um, it was an operating system that often was not just uh, already a resource hog, but PC manufacturers had the really, really bad habit of releasing the Windows Vista operating system with a PC on very, very low memory, one gig of RAM, for example, which made it dreadfully slow. A few interesting facts about Windows Vista. It's the first operating system to have a name that is a word. We've had XP for, you know, the abbreviation of experience. Um, we had numberings, Windows 3, Windows 95, 98, uh, ME for Millennium, also a abbreviation, but it was the first time that Microsoft dared use a word. So that's kind of interesting. It was the largest operating system ever that they've done. And actually, when Windows 7 came out, it was actually smaller than Windows Vista. And even as today, the Windows 10 operating system takes less resource and less space than actually Vista used at the time. It gives you an idea of how it was a uh, waste of resources. It's the first operating software, operating system, that actually relied on graphics hardware to display. So if you didn't have a modern enough graphics adapter, you couldn't see the arrow glass effect. You were stuck with a very boring desktop that was more like a gray desktop in taskbar. No, you know, uh, transparencies, nothing. Uh, which was interesting because um, until then, Windows relied very, very little on any um, hardware um, you know, to, to work. It was more of software things. It was the first operating system of Microsoft to have the sidebar that I've got to say the gadgets and the sidebar is probably one of the loved things that are, I, I do get, you know, clients and I also uh, find that it's a little sad that, you know, these gadgets are not available on Windows 10. I think it would be really, really cool. And uh, I think it was, you know, um, a few, there were a few, you know, innovative stuff. 
Uh, one of the things that Microsoft had said when uh, Windows Vista came out is that it was impossible to get viruses on Vista because it was such a, you know, unhackable operating system, which, well, didn't really turn out to be very true, basically. There were more versions of Windows Vista than any other versions of Windows, even as of today. They really, really had too many versions. It's like it was completely nuts from the Windows Vista basic to all the way to Enterprise Pro and everything it was like there was tons of versions and um, it was kind of you know people were kind of lost at what the hell do I have and um, after you know they've released it they've released service packs and lots of updates Windows Vista, at the end of its last big updates, last service pack, actually became a little better. It was not as a resource hog as it was before because they kind of implemented a little bit what Windows 7 was about to come afterwards. And it was actually better by the end. But still, I don't think everybody or anyone will say, oh, I miss Windows Vista, um, unfortunately. So uh, these were a little bit of facts as we say goodbye to Windows Vista that I actually had on a PC. Windows Vista was a uh, operating system in uh, one of my first laptops that I purchased, uh, a Toshiba laptop way back in 2008, um, about an, an, a year or so before, uh, a year or two before um, Windows 7 actually was released. So uh, it's kind of interesting to see all of that. So uh, Windows Vista um, had some innovations, you know, in graphics and design, but um, unfortunately, it did show that it was a last-minute project out of Microsoft panicking, basically. So bye-bye, uh, Windows Vista. You will not be missed, I guess. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.